Hello kids! How are you today? I hope you're doing well. In today's video, you're going to learn the multiplication facts. By the way, have you memorized the multiplication table? Are you quick in reciting the multiplication facts? As quick as this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 36, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, 54, 60, 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, 56, 63, 70, 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56, 64, 72, 80, 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, 63, 72, 81, 90, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So, if you want to learn the multiplication fast, the fastest way, please watch this video till the end. Let's study the word problem. Casey received a diary on her birthday. She wrote on her diary her activities for the week. She consumed two pages of her diary each day. How many pages of the diary were used by Casey? Let's answer the questions that follow. First, who received a diary on her birthday? That's right, Casey received a diary on her birthday. Number two, what did she write on her diary? You're correct. She wrote on her diary her activities for the week. Third question. Can you consider your diary as a friend? Of course, you can consider it as your friend. Let me share with you my personal experience. When I was in college, I could still remember that I had a diary back then. Do you know why? Because I was away from home. Whenever I missed my family or I got frustrated with my grades, I poured out every emotion and thought I had in my diary. Do you know what's great about writing a diary? I was able to tame my tongue. Honestly, it's difficult for me to control my emotions. My diary stopped me from talking back and hurting the people I love. So why don't you try having a diary and experience it yourself, how comforting it is to have one. Now, let's proceed to the fourth question. What operation will be used to solve the problem? Of course, the answer is multiplication. Next question. What is the number sentence? That's right. 2 times 7 equals n. Now, what is the answer? In solving for the answer, we can solve it in two ways. First, we can double the number. Let's say 2 times 7 is the same thing as 7 plus 7, and the product is 14. Or the other way of solving it is, we can skip counting by 2, and then we'll stop on the 7th term. 2 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. So 14 is the seventh term. So the answer is 14. Now we have here, she used 14 pages of her diary. Let's take a look at the basic multiplication facts. So this is from 1 times 1 to 10 times 10. That's a total of 100 multiplication facts. That's a great number to remember, right? But don't worry. That's why I'm here to help you out to save you from stress. This time, let's take a look at the basic rules of multiplication. Rule number one. Multiplying by 1. It says any number multiplied by 1, the product is always the number itself. For example, 2 times 1. 
The answer is, that's right, it's two. Next example, three times one. Of course, the answer is, very good, it's three. Four times one. What do you think is the answer? You're right, the answer is four. And for the last example, five times one. The answer is, exactly, it's five. Now, from that one simple rule, you know 19 multiplication facts. So you have 81 multiplication facts remaining. Let's proceed to the second rule. This is on multiplying by 10. To multiply any number by 10, just tag one zero on the end. For example, two times one, because you remember two times one is equal to two. And then you tag one zero on the end, that makes it 20. So two times 10 is equivalent to 20. Second example, three times 10. What do you think is the answer? Three times one is equal to three. And don't forget to add one zero on the end. So the answer is 30. Third example, four times 10. Four times one is equal to four. And then add one zero on the end. So therefore four times 10 is equal to 40. For the last example, five times 10, five times one, is equal to 5 and then add 1 zero on the end that's 50 so 5 times 10 is equal to 50 now you know 2 times 10 3 times 10 4 times 10 and so on that means you also know the reverse 10 times 2 10 times 3 10 times 4 10 times 5 and so on now from the two simple rules, you learned 36 multiplication facts. Let's proceed to rule number three, which is on multiplying by two. This rule says that when a number is multiplied by two, we are doubling the number. For example, two times two is the same thing as 2 plus 2. The answer is, of course, 4. 3 times 2 is the same thing as 3 plus 3. And the answer, of course, is 6. Third example, 4 times 2. What do you think? Yes, you're right. It's the same thing as 4 plus 4. So our answer is 8. Last example, 5 times 2 is the same thing as 5 plus 5. And the answer is 10. Very easy, right? Now, from the three rules, you'll know 51 multiplication facts. That means you have 49 multiplication facts remaining. It's very simple, right? Let's proceed to rule number four, which is on multiplying by five. Use what you know about skip counting by five. For example, five times four. Let's stop on the fourth term. Five, 10, 15, 20. So our fourth term is 20. So the product is 20. Second example, we have 5 times 6. Let's keep count by 5 and we'll stop on the 6th term. Let's find out what's the product. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So the sixth term is 30. Therefore, the product of 5 times 6 is 30. 
very simple, right? From the fourth rule, you know, 3 times 5, 4 times 5, 5 times 5, 6 times 5, and so on. That means we also know the reverse. 5 times 2, 5 times 3, 5 times 4, 5 times 5, and so on. That's a total of 14 multiplication facts. You now have 35 facts remaining. Let's study the last rule, which is of multiplying by 9. Use your addition and subtraction. Subtract 1 from the number you are multiplying. Then, think about the number you would add to it to equal to 9. For example, 2 times 9. 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. And then you ask yourself, what number am I going to add to 1 to make it 9? Of course, the answer is 8. Therefore, 2 times 9 is equal to 18. Next example, 7 times 9. 7 minus 1 is equal to 6. And then you ask yourself, what number am I going to add to 6 to equal it to 9? And the answer is 3. Therefore, 7 times 9 is equal to 63. So now, you know the answer to 3 times 9, 4 times 9, 6 times 9, 7 times 9, and so on. And so you also know the reverse. 9 times 3, 9 times 4, 9 times 6, 9 times 7, 9 times 8, and so on. After learning 5 rules, you now know 76 multiplication facts. That means you have 24 remaining. But once you remove the duplicates, you have 15 multiplication facts left. And you can learn those remaining in just a short period of time. It just requires a daily practice. Now my question is, are you ready for our learning activities? So here's activity one. Find the product. I'm going to give you 20 seconds to answer this exercise. Okay, time is up. Let's check your answers. One times eight. That's equivalent to eight. So you just remember what you learned on rule number one. Next, six times five. That's equivalent to 30. Recall rule number four. 7 times 10, correct? It's equivalent to 70. And that's according to rule number 2. 4, 2 times 6, correct? It's equivalent to 12. And that's rule number 3. And number 5, 7 times 9 is equal to 63. Recall rule number 5. Very good, you get a perfect score. Let's proceed to the last activity. Find the missing number. So since this activity is quite challenging, I'm giving you 40 seconds to answer.
Okay, time is up. Let's check your answers. For number 1, 2 times 6, the missing number is 12. Number 2, 5 times 9 is equal to 45. Our missing number is 9. 3, 3 times 4 is equal to 12. The missing number is 3. 4. 10 times 6 is equal to 60. The missing number is 10. Number 5. 3 times 9 is equal to 27. The missing number is 27. Very good. You all got a perfect score. This time, let's have a recap of the basic rules of multiplication. Rule number one, which is multiplying by one. Any number multiplied by one, the product is always the number itself. Rule number two, multiplying by 10. To multiply any number by 10, just tag one zero on the end. For rule number three, multiplying by two, when a number is multiplied by 2, we are doubling the number. For rule number 4, multiplying by 5, use what you know about skip counting by 5. And for the last rule, which is multiplying by 9, use your addition and subtraction. Subtract 1 from the number you are multiplying, then Think about the number, you would add to it to equal to 9. So that ends our discussion for today. I hope you've learned a lot about multiplication facts. See you again next time. Bye-bye!